Earth's gravitational acceleration. The Earth exerts gravitational force on objects near it. According to Newton's second law of motion, a force acting on a body results in its acceleration. Thus, the gravitational force due to the Earth on a body results in its acceleration. This is called acceleration due to gravity and is denoted by G. Acceleration is a vector. As the gravitational force on any object due to the Earth is directed towards the center of the Earth, the direction of the acceleration due to gravity is also directed towards the center of the Earth, that is, vertically downwards. Think about it. 1. What would happen if there was no gravity? Um. 2. What would happen if the value of G was twice as large? Answer. Value of G on the surface of the Earth. We can calculate the value of G by using Newton's universal law of gravitation for an object of mass m situated at a distance r from the center of the Earth. The law of gravitation f is equal to g m m upon r square equation 3 m is the mass of the Earth. f is equal to mg equation 4 from equation 3 and 4 mg is equal to g m m upon r square g is equal to g m upon r square equation 5 if the object is situated on the surface of the earth r is equal to r is equal to radius of the earth thus the value of g on the surface of the earth is g is equal to g m upon r square equation 6 the unit of G in SI units is meter per second square. The mass and radius of the earth are 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg and 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meters respectively. Using these in 6, 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 into 6 into 10 raised to 24 upon 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 square is equal to 9.77 meter per second square. Equation 7. This acceleration depends only on the mass m and the radius r of the earth and so the acceleration due to gravity at a given point on the earth is the same for all objects. It does not depend on the properties of the object. Can you tell what would be the value of G on the surface of the earth if its mass was twice as large and its radius half of what it is now? Answer. According to Newton's law of gravitation, G is equal to Gm upon R square. If the value of G is doubled, G is equal to G2M upon R upon 2 square is equal to 8 GM upon R square. Thus, the value of G will increase by 8 times. Variation in the value of G A. Change along the surface of the earth Will the value of G be the same everywhere on the surface of the earth? The answer is no. The reason is that the shape of the earth is not exactly spherical and so the distance of a point on the surface of the earth from its center differs somewhat from place to place. Due to its rotation, the earth bulges at the equator and is flatter at the poles. Its radius is larger at the equator and smallest at the poles. The value of G is thus highest 9.83 meter per second square at the poles and decreases slowly with decreasing latitude. It is lowest 9.78 meter per second square at the equator.
B. Change with height. As we go above the Earth's surface, the value of R in equation 5 increases and the value of G decreases. However, the decrease is rather small for heights which are small in comparison to the Earth's radius. For example, remember that the radius of the Earth is 6400 km. If an aeroplane is flying at a height 10 km above the surface of the Earth, the distance from the Earth's surface changes from 6400 km to 6410 km and the change in the value of G due to it is negligible. On the other hand, when we consider an artificial satellite orbiting the Earth, we have to take into account the change in the value of G due to the large change in the distance of the satellite from the center of the Earth. Some typical heights and the values of G at these heights are given in the following table. C. Change with depth. The value of G also changes if we go inside the Earth. The value of R in equation 5 decreases and one would think that the value of G should increase as per the formula. However, the part of the Earth which contributes towards the gravitational force felt by the object also decreases. This means that the value of M to be used in equation 5 also decreases. As a combined result of change in R and M, the value of G decreases as we go deep inside the Earth. Think about it. 1. Will the direction of the gravitational force change as we go inside the Earth? Answer. 2. What will be the value of G at the center of the Earth? Answer. Every planet and satellite has different mass and radius. Hence, according to equation 6, the values of G on their surfaces are different. On the moon, it is about one-sixth of the value on the Earth. As a result, using the same amount of force, we can jump six times higher on the moon as compared to that on the Earth. Mass and weight. Mass. Mass is the amount of matter present in the object. The SI unit of mass is kg. Mass is a scalar quantity. Its value is same everywhere. Its value does not change even when we go to another planet. According to Newton's first law, it is the measure of the inertia of an object. Higher the mass, higher is the inertia. Weight The weight of an object is defined as the force with which the Earth attracts the object. The force F on an object of mass M on the surface of the Earth can be written using equation 4. Therefore, weight W is equal to F is equal to mg g is equal to gm upon r square. Weight being a force, its SI unit is Newton. Also, the weight being a force is a vector quantity and its direction is towards the center of the earth. As the value of g is not same everywhere, the weight of an object changes from place to place, though its mass is constant everywhere. Colloquially, we use weight for both mass and weight and measure the weight in kilograms, which is the unit of mass. But in scientific language, when we say that Rajiv's weight is 
75 kg, we are talking about Rajiv's mass. What we mean is that Rajiv's weight is equal to the gravitational force on 75 kg mass. As Rajiv's mass is 75 kg, his weight on earth is F is equal to mg is equal to 75 into 9.8 is equal to 735 Newton. The weight of 1 kg mass is 1 into 9.8 is equal to 9.9 .9 Newton. Our weight machine tell us the mass. The two scale balances in shops compare two weights, that is, two masses. Use your brain power. 1. Will your weight remain constant as you go above the surface of the earth? Answer. Two, suppose you are standing on a tall ladder. If your distance from the center of the earth is 2R, what will be your weight? Answer. Two, 